Hello, beautiful people. How y'all doing? I miss Friday, so I'm here today. Give it a couple more minutes. Hope everybody's doing wonderful. Sending love and light to each and every one of you and your families. All the family that's going through something, I'm sending positive healing energy and positive mental healing energy. y'all just got off from work hope you had a good day at work how y'all doing today sending love and light to each and every one of you positive vibes only all day every day I'm going to get started here in a few. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So... Today, I want to talk about unforgiveness, okay, and what it does to our bodies, our physical bodies, okay. So, being unforgiving and having hatred in your heart can cause you to have a weary soul, okay. A weary soul. It can cause you to have black eyes. It can cause you to always stress, okay? Um, unforgiveness also can gather all in your bones, causing aches and pains, okay? Um, it keeps you trapped. 
okay no no feeling with any um feeling of being free you don't have it you don't have the feeling of being free because you're trapped and you're doing it to yourself you're doing it to yourself nobody else is doing it to you you're doing it to yourself it doesn't matter what the person done you're still doing it to yourself see only you can have control of you okay so having unforgiveness uh, in your heart and hatred in your heart okay can keep you trapped okay also it can be so heavy that it can flow to the people that are around you see everybody don't know how to um everybody don't know how to control their energy where they don't let other people get to them okay everybody don't have that discernment of um your energy coming into a room taking over and it's positive or it's negative you ha you have to have discernment of these energies that you are around okay no matter who it is no matter where you at okay Oh, um, also it can affect your mind, body, and soul of having this unforgiveness and hatred in your heart, okay? It can make you sick. And I'm grateful to say I'm not on no medication. I'm not on no medication. I am grateful to say that because back in the days I was. But wisdom and knowledge has brought me a mighty long way okay um you can lose sleep because your soul is weary you're trapped there's no free there's no feeling of freedom it's tearing you down it's eating you from the inside out because you won't forgive these people because you won't forgive this person Okay, this is what keeps you from graduating from earth school and just live in eternity. Because you want to hate this person. Because you don't want to forgive this person or these people. You're doing it to yourself. You're not doing nothing to them. Nothing. Nothing. You're doing it to yourself. You are turning yourself down. Physically and mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you turn yourself down. You're doing it to yourself. They they not they not doing nothing to you. You're doing it to yourself. Think about that. Think about that. They good, but are you? Because it's a lot of people that have discernment not to let people mess with their energy. I come into their space. I'm not the only one. So you got to learn to forgive people. You got to learn to forgive situations and not let nothing get to you. Okay, so this is what I'm. I, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Some things that will help you. Okay, first of all, if you feel like you can't go around that person to ask them for forgiveness, forgive them within yourself. Okay, call out their name in your house on your job. Call them out. I forgive you. Mm-hmm. And we ain't perfect. We ain't perfect. We can try our best not to hurt a person. That doesn't mean we not 
because we're not perfect. So you have to forgive yourself. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I see where I was wrong. I see where I was wrong. Okay? Can you forgive me? I forgive myself. If you can't come in contact with that person, call their name out and forgive them. If you love that person, but you know y'all energies don't match, call that person out anyway and say you love them. Put it out there. That's what caused you not to have hatred in your heart. That's what causes you to forgive them and forgive yourself. Call their names out anyway. I love you, so-and-so. I forgive you, so-and-so. For yourself. For yourself. This is your own life. This is your own life. You're not living nobody else's life. This is your life. Okay? So some things that you can do is pray about it. Meditate. Okay? Those who do not know what meditation is, it's when you keep still. You clear your thoughts. Okay? And you let the universe, you let our creator download in your crown chakra. Okay? That's how we gain knowledge. That's how we gain wisdom. Okay? Be still. What did he say? Be still and know that I am God. Yes, be still. That's how you meditate. You don't have to say anything. Just receive. Okay? That's one of the ways is connecting with nature you know how you go take a walk and you feel better when you get back in the house that's because nature is always going to do what it's supposed to do what it was created to do that's why you feel so good after taking that walk so connect with nature because because nature will have you feeling free and not trapped my mind is working faster than my mouth okay so, hold on, y'all. Okay? Tune in to what makes you happy. Whatever it is that makes you happy, tune into that. Okay? These things that I'm telling y'all can keep y'all vibes up. You know, keep them positive. Okay? Where you're going to just have a wonderful day. A great day. Okay? A great day. Build a solid relationship with your ancestors. With your loved ones. It doesn't matter who it is that you choose on the other side. Okay? Call them out. Make an offering. Flowers. A glass of water. Water is life. Water is everything. Things that they liked. Okay? Put it out. Here, this is for you. This is my, my uh, token of love, my offering of love to you. Okay? They always respond. They always respond. Always. Always, okay? They do things that you can't do. That will surprise you. Okay? So, that's all that I have to say today. And I hope this helped you. Okay? I hope, that, I hope my message today uplifted you. Okay? I hope my message today make a change in your life. Connect with your ancestors. Okay? Connect with your loved ones. Okay? They can do things for you that you can't do for yourself. I am a witness. I am a witness. And some things I can't come on here and show and tell because that energy. But try it. Try it yourself. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. Because one thing they don't do is play about you. They didn't play about you when they was here with you. They definitely not going to play about you on the other side when they can do more for you. And they love doing. They love doing for you. They love it. 
You thought they did something for you when they was here. No. Check them out now. Check them out now to see what happened. I dare you. I dare you. Make that offering. Eat a glass of water is all you need. You ain't got to go buy water. A glass of water is all you need for a token of love and a token for gratefulness. I dare you. And watch what happened. Watch what happened. All right, y'all now. Sending positive energy and vibes all over this life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sending it. Heavenly. Okay? I love y'all. Until this Friday. I'll see y'all later. Bye.